Hi guys, it's your girl Wandika, originally from Jamaica, and today I want to show you this very simple fall layout. So I created a journal. This used to be a calendar book planner, and I just put multimedia paper in it. And this is just to show you that you don't have to be able to draw to do a layout because in this one I did not do any drawing I don't know maybe I was feeling a bit lazy but <laughs> I realized it, it wasn't a big need to draw for this because I had some pictures that I wanted to use for the fall theme um, so next time I'll do one with a lot more drawing in it, a lot more painting in it. But I think this is a very quick and interesting layout. I realized that I did not necessarily need to gesso the paper yet because I had not put down the background paper. But it didn't hurt. Um, I could have waited but I didn't know what I was going to do. And that's how it usually goes with me sometimes. I don't know until... I'm in my supplies looking around at stuff. I chose this because it had sort of like a subtle haunting feel, you know, misty. I like that kind of feel, that kind of mood. Even though it wasn't going to be a scary layout or anything, I just liked I liked this like before daybreak kind of idea. That's why I chose this one. And here I am just putting down some painter's tape because originally I was just going to keep the edges blank but in the end I ended up journaling on the edges but I thought it would give it an interesting feel if I didn't do it all the way to the end. And adding a bit of color here I'm just winging it I just like what color do I feel like putting? <laughs> so I just decided to, you know, keep it fall like with um, warm colors. And I could have just let this air dry, but I do have one of these small dryers. It's not necessarily meant for art, but came in handy. Now this photo came from a smash book, one of those inserts in um, the smash book. I don't remember which one, but I really like the pumpkins. And I remember I kept it from, I think 2013 in a planner and it was just there. So. I'm glad that I get to use it in this way. It has a new life. Now I'm using the glossy sealer, but if you don't want your page to be shiny, you can use the matte. I personally like the glossy look, but matte can be really beneficial if you're not done 
like adding things like maybe writing maybe you want to write on the page the glossy one doesn't really allow for that I thought it would be interesting to add a little bit of a splatter effect. I got it all over the place. <laughs> Next time I will definitely have more precautions on my desk and on my computer. But I thought it added something interesting to the background so it wasn't so flat and boring. Yeah, and some dollops were a bit too big and just making sure to take care of those and clean the computer. <laughs> So all that's left after the page is dry is to add some words and I wasn't even sure what I was going to write. I knew that I wanted to use these that I got at Hobby Lobby for a steal and I liked that they were brown and they would fit right in to the color scheme. So at first I was going to write fall is in full swing but I didn't like that then I said fall in full chair and that didn't make any sense so I was just going back and forth with the ideas and I think I liked what I ended up with in the end. Right, so because these were stickers, I wanted to make sure that they would stay in place and so I added another layer of sealer. I wanted the pumpkins to stand out a little bit more against the background so that's why I'm using a gold or metallic sharpie to kind of um, give it a little bit more distinction. The problem was here that I kind of overshot the, pa the painter's tape so there was some part of the actual background paper that I had covered up by accident but I thought that was a quick fix. And it didn't come up cleanly enough so I decided to just use the same metallic sharpie just give it a border. It's not the neatest but I think it's kind of great because I like grunge anyway I wasn't really a fan of using these colors I should have just used a metallic pen to write you know in the margin in the yeah in the margin but in the end I thought it was okay if I had to do it again I would have just used a muted pen so it doesn't distract 
At first I was just gonna put brown on the edges and I said maybe I should use orange, you know, since that's in the theme. And in the end I decided on a darker color. I was going to add some white highlights but the paper was still wet and then I decided against it. Maybe I will another time. But that's basically it. A very quick, simple, interesting art journaling page. I hope you like this. Make sure to thumbs up this video if you like it. Share. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this I know I haven't been doing a lot of art journals but I will so stick with me and you'll see some more check out my social media don't forget one beakergale.com what good